An event meant to empower the community was cut short by Detroit city officials, according to organizers of the second annual Detroit African Festival. It still had all the elements other than the vendors, so it ruined it in the fact that in the aftermath, we now have to repay all those vendors. And we did not take money in as a profit, so we're now doing that out of our personal pockets. What was supposed to be two days of family fun, food, and culture ended with vendors being told to pack up and leave. The people were confused because we were just, they were giving away pens, pamphlets, uh, information, you know, resources. The confusion started when a vendor called the city complaining that someone took off with her vending fee and never called back. Last Friday, city officials showed up at Meharis Gentry Park on Detroit's east side and took action. We were told that we were able to give things away for free. And when the business administration investigator showed up, he actually told all those people to pack up and leave. But officials from the City of Detroit Parks and Recreation Department are telling CW50 organizers were charging vendors up to $200 for space at the event, which requires a business license permit. The Parks and Recreation Division released a statement to CW50 saying event organizers were told during a meeting on September 15th that vendors were not permitted. As a result, vendors were dismissed, but the event was not shut down. Yes, we did have a permit for the park and the space. And that's all I've ever had for 11 years doing these events. But apparently we're also supposed to have a permit for each and every vendor. The Detroit African Festival Committee says the vending fees were used to cover the overhead expenses like food, entertainment and supplies. Organizers say all vendors will be refunded in the next 30 days. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.